Good morning, this is Nicole Ruth with Fairway Mortgage. Happy Saturday, oh my gosh, what a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm excited to get out there. We've got, all three of us are on um, point this weekend, David, Emily, and I, if you need to reach out to any of us, you've got any clients that are putting in offers or need to get approved that haven't yet. So definitely give us a call, our cell phones are on the bottom of all the emails that we send out, but specifically this one. So today I wanna to quickly tell you, besides the rates down below and the fact that we're available on this beautiful weekend, I wanna to talk to you about recovery time. So I'm an athlete and I think of a lot of things in the terms of athletics, sports, uh, the sporting events that I've done in the past. But this time I'm specifically focusing on recovery time. I coach several realtors as well as a handful of loan officers in helping them be their best in every day and in every activity so that they can kind of reach the goals that they set out. And so we talk about what goals they want, how do we achieve those goals, and how do we recover when the answer is no. So do we, the first time we hear the word no, the first time we have a failure, the first time a loan goes bad or a real estate transaction goes bad or buyers don't choose us or sellers don't choose us or borrowers don't choose us, is that a reason to kind of shame down and stop our activity level? So it's about recovery time, same as an athlete. So what are you doing? Are you pushing hard? Are you working in a methodology that makes sense for your goals? And are you quick to recover to do it again? both from any level of defeat, as well as from the exercise and the activity the day before. So we're gonna hear the word no, we're gonna have failure, we're gonna have those moments where we have egg on our face, or when we don't feel good, or when we chose the wrong thing, or we regretfully told somebody yes when it should have been no. But do we recover? Do we beat ourselves up for a moment? Do we take it all in? Do we say, how can I get better? How can I not let this happen again? And do we charge forward quickly? So my, as an example, when I was, you know, let's say 10 years ago, I've been doing this 15 years and I can vividly remember conversations where I was told no, and I'd almost sulk for an hour, two hours, or if I had a couple of bad experiences, I'd want to, you know, to close behind doors for a couple of days or go do something else. Like I wouldn't even want to be involved in the industry for a couple of days while I recovered, while my ego got boosted back up again, while I had confidence in what I was doing. Today, when a mistake is made, and we're not infallible, when a mistake is made, the idea being is that I'm quick to resolve the solution. I'm quick to say, okay, that person didn't choose me for this reason that I can fix, or this reason I can't, and then I get right back in it. And then I make the next call, and then I make the next call, and the next call. So it's about recovery time. How long are you stewing on the no's or on the letdowns or on the rejections? And is that affecting your end goals or your success? You'll meet success when you reduce your recovery time. It is imperative that you exercise and you recover. Same as work. You get on the phone, you request the meetings, we talked about last week about the fact that <clears throat> I could go into a business situation with you and do these lunch and learns and present. And is the first present uh, the first presentation going to go smashingly well? Probably not. But how fast you do it again will determine your level of success. So I challenge you today to acknowledge what's going on, to acknowledge the failure success, to be the best from that, to grow in that, and get right back in there. My son and daughter have this little thing and he's got this little English accent he portrays and he's like, A1, Gabby, get right back in there. Well, I tell that to you today. Get right back in there. Make that next call. Challenge yourself to meet that next person. Schedule that next lunch and learn. Schedule that next presentation and just be better the next time and better the next time after that. And you will reach the level of success. But first, make sure where you know where you're going. And maybe we'll talk about that next time. Let's set some goals. Nicole Ruth, Fairway Mortgage. I'd love to chat with you more about this. If you don't have goals set, we need to be doing that. And I can absolutely help you. I'd love to see your success. Have a great weekend.